Hello and namaste. It's Jewel from Goddess Creative. Wow. Happy New Year. Oh my God. What an amazing, exciting year it's, it is for us coming up. I know I'm a little bit late in delivering this to you. It's just so much is going on. So much is going on in the market. It's like really exciting. Bitcoin's gone nutso uh, because of the the talk of the Bitcoin ETF coming up. So exciting. I've been talking to Spirit this morning. Um, I'm loving all these exciting changes happening with the market. It's feeling really good and crackly and bubbly and exciting again. A lot of buzz around it. Uh, the Bitcoin halvings coming up um, in April, um, which is really auspicious in respect that it's my birthday month. Um, being a Taurus, it's um, incredible. It, it also indicates um, April, May's um, Taurus, which means to cement into this timeline financial solidness, financial strength and yeah I'm, I'm just I'm super excited. Um, I have been wanting to bring a video to, to you for a while but I just had so much going on and I, yeah, a lot, a lot of changes. I've started to do um, some readings. I've got a few more videos to release from last year yet, but my new readings this year, I'm looking in smaller timelines. So, and I'm doing a lot of testing in that respect as well. So, um, and what does that mean? Testing. So I've, yeah, so I've been looking at how certain things are going to test, you know, um, affect the market. So I've been talking to Spirit about that. But not only that, when I'm reading alts, I am reading from um, into quarters at the moment. So that's what I'm doing. So I was going to make that available um, I just haven't got it happening yet on my website, so you could get readings um, in quarters, particularly up to for this run, which is what's what's super important, um, having an idea of the movements. So, yeah, that's exciting. I'm. I have been asking questions around this, how will this Bitcoin ETF affect Bitcoin and what price will it get to um, with the effect of this? And I'm going to do a video about that and how it will affect the altcoins as well, because some people think that the altcoins are going to be affected and it's not going to be um, an altcoin an altcoin time the same way because of what's going on with bitcoin but i'm i'm actually not getting that i don't i don't i don't get that so um yeah so i'm going to do a video about that but yeah it's really exciting times and I basically just wanted to say that I wanted to say Happy New Year because I hadn't I hadn't said that yet, and I've got an, I'm just so super excited. I've got a new lots of new things bubbling and in, in the works. Doesn't mean um, so that's in relation to my own personal investing and what I'm doing. I may put out some of it. I won't be putting out all of it. Um, also not doing readings as readily as what I was doing last year because it just it's such an exciting time in the market I don't want my um, energy distracted I think my energy needs to be really grounded in what I'm doing so and that's a part of this energy 
as we go forward as being sovereign souls as well is really understanding how to manage your own energy and grounding that energy and learning to say no. Um, yes, I think that's incredibly, as I sat in meditation today, that's the really the main information that I got coming through is to be, be remain grounded in your own energy because the, the more you can be grounded in your own energy, the less you get taken off and blown in the wind, like a, like a leaf blown in the wind, um, and, and distracted by the chaos that's going on in the world that's not going away. Um, just let it be, is my suggestion. Um, and I think a lot of experts will say this also, about the let it be energy um, or the let it be statement being that if you just let it be and it not be your business because it doesn't have to be your business unless you make it so and stick your nose into it just let it be you know you know you can have an effect on the world and the planet at large with your own energy once you learn how to direct that energy so i would say that is the most profound energy flow right now that's going on if you learn to master that and not be affected by everything else that's going on, all the other stories, all the craziness, your friends, your family, your relatives, the news, the... And I know that can be really hard because we're getting thrown at us like never before. I mean, beautiful Australia has never had so many damn floods, crazy, crazy weather that has been manipulated, by the way. You know, this is not natural. It's been manipulated, but I'm not going into that. But you, this whole thing is teaching us to step back and to really manage and govern our own energy, our own energetic imprint, our sovereign energetic imprint. So bringing back to self, and self-management from a higher perspective. I'm not talking from an ego perspective. I'm talking from a higher perspective. Self-management, self-care, self-governing, what we put out there, what we give our attention to. So what we put out there is just as important. If you're not coming from heart space or you know, and to not have your nose in every every other business and trying to push to make changes doesn't make you your aspect of self any any stronger or greater. It's just a learning aspect of self that you're going through is what I'm saying. Basically, self-management of soul governments, governance is managing your own energy. Okay, so when you really understand the concept of managing your own energy, you understand not being caught up in drama and not giving an attention to things that do not serve you for your highest good. Um, that keep you in a lower vibration. But anyway, I'm not going to Rattle on into that. Um, this main video was, yeah, just how exciting this time is. And you are what you manifest, basically. So you are where you give your attention. So if you're giving your attention to where you want your life to unfold, to manifest in the highest vibration that it can be, um, because if, if you uplift self, you uplift others, you uplift all of those around you and you don't need to do that by 
and being at other people and their energy or trying to control it, you can do it by standing back and being example. Okay? So, yeah. Um, that's what I wanted to say there. It, it puts you, if once you start doing that, it puts you in a place of more power and strength. So this more power and strength is going to play out this year in a really big way. Um, and it's going to be a continual pulling on, pulling on the strings, pulling on the heart strings. Um, not saying that you shouldn't, you know, help out there or donate or I'm not saying that. I'm not saying any of that. But be aware, just be aware of where your energy pools are and really look into why um, as a sovereign soul your energy flows I would just say that and so if your focus is your building your strength and sovereign soul groundedness in this time then I herald you that's really good if it's also building your own financial wealth in this time, I herald you as well. Because once you're able to do that, and we have great opportunity this year to do that, we really do. I'm super, super excited with the um, unfolding. As you know, I said it before, 2024, super exciting. Um, we're in it now, this is the year. And it's, it's really, astro astrologically speaking, it's such an exciting year for the unfolding. Not without purging, of course, and that's all the purging and the chaos and the distraction around us, but if you can be in the flow of the allowance of this unfolding, it's so exciting. And be step back and be the observer. You can take advantage of, you can be in a space to take advantage of such amazing opportunities that are upon us right now. So yeah, I just wanted to, to say that. I don't want to rattle on too long, um, as I probably have already, but I just wanted to say Happy New Year and welcome 2024, because this is so super exciting. Okay, much love to you all exciting times ahead embrace it don't be in fear embrace it okay love and appreciation namaste